Hello, Paul Bonington, Vice President and Publisher of Engineering News Record. We're here, as you can see, at Future Tech East, where we're exploring the future of technology and construction. Today's program is, is very interesting and exciting because we're also going to be imagining construction's future in a panel, panel later this afternoon, and that's the, also the feature story of ENR in this week's issue. Let's hear from some of our sponsors and attendees on what they're getting out of today's program. Future Tech's a, a great conference, and what we find is we look for the newest innovations that are coming in the engineering and construction industry, and it's great to hear the stories that everybody is telling about what's to come. And the really great part about it is, is being able to find out what we can actually use today. So, so much, it, it's good to talk about the future, but what's practical today and the presentations and, and the deep insights from the practitioners in our field to hear about what they're doing out there in the field is absolutely wonderful and it gives us all hope that our industry is going to be at the apex of all industries going forward. This is really important stuff and we're really excited to hear about the great topics here. There are f very few opportunities inside of our industry construction to actually go to a conference to learn about what technologies exist for now and for the future that isn't driven just by vendors. There are many conferences derived just around vendors, but here we get to actually come in here, everything that's out there, and hear our peers talk about the different systems they're putting in place and how it's working for them. We love coming to this event every year. We're exhibiting again this year, and we've made a lot of great contacts with our existing customers and hopefully new customers. One of the most interesting things uh, was Steve Jones from McGraw-Hill because there's so much data and information that McGraw-Hill brings to these types of events, talking about what was expected in the data beyond what we always looked at in the statistics in the construction industry. So all the other speakers tied into that as far as how the industry can team together and help grow more business and look at ways that we can increase our revenue stream. So I'm excited to work with more partners here and people that I've met today going forward in the future. The biggest advantage is to raise the flag, to bring everybody together, raise the flag of what the issues are in the industry so we can try to mutually solve the problems. I love coming to Future Tech because it's it's always, um, it's kind of looking forward, but it's always about the practical aspects of the technology as well. So the title is sometimes a misnomer because uh, the Future Tech title suggests that we're looking out into the future at technology that's not there. The, everybody that speaks here is, is actually using technology. These are the leaders of the industry. This is the top 2% of the industry that's, that's really moving the industry forward. HP has its design jet line that in the end we, we wanted to do is to enable people to be able to print in a mobile world. But in addition, HP is exploring opportunities to make the collaboration in the construction industry more effective. This event, the ENR, the ENR Future Tech, is a good event in order to understand where the, where the construction industry is going, what are the technology trends that will shape the future of this industry.